Hey guys, real quick video. I thought I would uh, show you guys some Nick DeSalvo action. Nick DeSalvo plays guitar in a band called Elder, one of my favorite bands. I was thrilled that he uh, did me the honor of chucking some notes, bends, and a couple of hammer-ons over my album Power Wisdom Courage, which came out the other week. And they're kind of mysterious dudes, Elder. They're not like big social media guys or anything like that. So there's not a lot of content where there's a, like an, an in-depth look at like what they do and whatnot. But Nick's playing is so like interesting and cool. Like it's familiar, but just kind of fresh in such a way that my ears really prick up when I hear it. Um, so I thought I'd just show you the files he sent me and it kind of provides a little bit of an in-depth a little bit of an insight, no, I won't say in depth, but a bit of insight into how he goes about layering his, his lead work. Anyway, here's the end result. Uh, this is the closing section of the uh, album, actually. This is Out of Courage, and uh, this is Nick Solo's right here. some nice space in between the licks. It really breathes. Nice long bends, exactly what it needed. I actually wrote this section with him in mind. I really wanted him to be on it long before I got the balls to ask. Maybe not got the balls, but found the nerve to ask. Big monster band. So it's, it's the rock licks we all know and love, but there's just something a little spicy, a little fresh about it that I really, really like. And uh, when I got the solo, I was actually pretty um, blown away because I'm pretty new to the producing thing. I've only been producing my own stuff for uh, just not that long, like just over two years, I guess, coming up on three and uh, my only experience in the studio was just going in and laying it down and I might do the Randy Rhodes. I know I read somewhere that Randy Rhodes used to double his solos, so like, I'll do that. But um, producing is uh, somewhat new to me. So I was um, pretty intrigued when he sent me through uh, these three these three printed sounds. Like a printed sound is not a dry track. Like this is a dry track. So that's just his guitar like plugged in. So that's his guitar through a DI. I think this is the old, the Dunny he uses, the Dunnable. So woody sounding, isn't it? It sounds very pure to me. That sounds like strings and wood, which makes sense. But um, yeah, he sent through these three wet tracks printed tracks which have like a, a, an amp sim a guitar sim and some effects and stuff on and um they're all like they're all a little different it's pretty interesting check it out so that's the overall sound it's like a big massive sound but when you go into them individually they're actually pretty different this is uh solo one the, these are his labels so i'm not sure how he um decides what's one and two or maybe he just uh does it and then adds to it not sure you'd have to ask him but solo one is this like really heavily delayed it's kind of like dark but it's not the darkest one the delay is stereo so it's pretty dense it's pretty massive sounding on its own and uh solo two is like is different again similar but different again so that's a little bit more midsy, a bit high, a bit brighter. Another delay, but it's not stereo. See how it's not like it's the, the delay is right in the middle. And then the third one is like it's kind of disgusting, but it just works so well. <laughs> it's got kind of flange or something on it. I don't think it's got delay though. It might have a bit of verb. Or that could just be the flange. I'm not sure how the flange is achieved. Like maybe it's a delay with some sort of EQ trick. I'm not sure, but... 
it's kind of a monster on its own, isn't it? So I'm not sure like whether it, how he pans them or anything, or he just has them all sit on my um the guy I work with on the deity stuff, Joe Haley. He um in the end decided using his expertise where all of these should go but um got me really thinking about my own solos and maybe i should uh try to do more <laughs> try to do more with them like you could throw it around you could just chuck shit left and right and and see what happens chuck the delayed ones in each ear and... but i think it's a pretty interesting way to go about stacking a solo and i guess that's why elder don't sound like anyone else. He's got his own way of doing that. They seem to have their own way of doing things with the uh, save, same 11 notes. <laughs> it's more than that because of, because of octaves. But uh, you know what I mean? They're, they're, using, they're using the riffs we've all got and heard and they've got all the same influences as everyone else, but they're just doing a little bit more of an interesting thing with it. So very interesting. I thought you guys, thought some Elder fans out there might enjoy that. Anyway... Thanks for that uh, comment if you made it this far through the video and it kind of lets me know whether or not to make things like this as short or if you wanted it to be longer, you wanted to see more, uh, just throw it in the comments and let me know and I'll um, cater to it. Give the people what they want. Isn't that right? Anyway, thanks for watching. Take it easy.